I think this golf course has a, a little bit more to offer than what it looks like from first appearances. And uh, I would hope that uh, the golf course will bear some teeth and, and perhaps somewhere between 15 and 20 under par would be the winning score. 59 here is possible? Well, 59 is possible on any golf course in the world if you play well enough. If these fairways dry out, the course will play very short. So there will be plenty of opportunities with wedges and sand wedges in your, in your hands to attack the pins, no matter where they're placed. So certainly, um, and that kind of number is always on. The one thing about golf is, is that even when you're the champion, you still have to go out and beat the field. Uh, not very many sports you can say that about. On any given week, you have to go and beat the field. Uh, clearly, Adam is, is the marquee player of the week. Clearly, he's the guy that uh, everybody's going to, going to aim to beat. But uh, to be truthful, I think um, there are some other serious contenders in the field. Uh, but that's good. That's what we want to see, and if it brings out the best in Adam Scott here in front of his home crowd, I think that's going to be marvellous. Um, most important thing is that uh, the, the, this golf tournament now, I think, is in a wonderful home going forward. I think the Gold Coast uh, deserves a golf tournament of this stature. Remember, it's the, the, the major tournament of the PGA stage here in, in Australia. And I just think that with the population growth here, with the number of golf courses that have been developed here, with the enthusiasm that the coast has for golf, that this tournament has the potential of being a huge success at this venue.